In this video, I'll be showing you the two latest enhancements regarding surface measurement location editing. I've got a surface measurement on this part, and I'm pretty much looking down um, on this face. So you can see it's pretty much the ZX plane, and the Y is kind of going down on this uh, face. But if I hold the shift key down and click on the surface measurement to drag it around, you can see over on the left side, um, as I was talking about, we now have kind of a live screen where you can kind of see what the numbers are. So let's say I wanted X to be 2550. There, you can see I'm moving it there. And let's say I wanted Z to be around 900, give or take. And let's just say I can click it and drop it off there. And now I'm, I'm close, right? So that's the first thing that's having that live display in there so you can see where you're dragging it. The second thing is, is that if I actually go over here and double click on the surface measurement in the programming browser, and if I go to the nominals tab, uh, you can see these are where it's at. So let's say I wanted them, the X and the Z to be at a certain specific location. So I'm gonna put 2550 up here, 2550. And you'll notice as soon as I do that, there's some extra buttons that pop up. And I'm going to go over here to Z. I think it was 890 that I was shooting for. So now the, the Y, I don't know because they only gave us the X and the Z, let's say. So what I'm going to do is you see these three project buttons. I'm just going to hit the one for the Y because I'm going to reproject that measurement at the, this X and uh, Z locations and and so what it's going to do it's going to update and get a new Y um, and it's also going to update the IJKs automatically so if I just go and hit this project button for the Y there you'll you'll notice we've got a, a new value for the Y and I don't know if you notice but the IJKs changed slightly but the X and the Z remain the same as I type them in now it hasn't it's not going to change that point until I hit the OK button. So now if I once I hit OK, you'll see it move ever so slightly to where it needs to be. Thanks for watching and have a great day.